About five years ago, my partner at the time physically assaulted me in front of my son. What resulted then for both of us was a significant amount of ongoing trauma. My son really started to struggle in school. He was about eight at the time. I was having a really hard time just functioning on a day-to-day -day basis. The doctors kept recommending that I go on SSRs. They recommended that I take anti-anxiety or Xanax. I was having a very difficult time running my business. My son was seriously struggling in school. I put him in jiu-jitsu and karate and within two weeks his teachers came to me and asked if he was being medicated because his behavior had improved so significantly after kind of taking him to class for like a year I started to have this very like guilty feeling every time I would leave his class the adult class would be coming in and I was like man I wish I had the courage to start this now I wish in my mid-30s that I felt like starting a new sport or art was something that wasn't so intimidating especially one that involves putting me in a situation where I'm you know up against big dudes, which was really hard for me. After about that first year, I finally just pulled the trigger. I was really, really intimidated, both physically and then mentally and emotionally. I didn't realize how tough it would be to put myself back in a situation where I was, you know, being pushed to the ground and sat on and choked after what I had been through. But what was pretty insane was over the course of the next three months of jujitsu, I noticed that my day-to-day -day anxiety and depression and all of the trauma that I was struggling with that that sort of like immersion therapy of putting myself in a situation where I felt unsafe but the situation was actually safe, I started to realize I had the ability to defend myself, I had the ability to improve my technique, to master that situation, to not feel vulnerable and not feel small and not feel incapable and weak. We all deserve to not just feel like survivors, we deserve to feel like we're thriving and capable and powerful, especially women who are survivors of domestic violence and Jiu-Jitsu really gave that back to me. And then through an amazing term of events, um, I actually met my now husband through my Jiu-Jitsu gym. I can't even imagine where I would have been had we connected outside of this sport because I was just in such a bad place a few years ago. I'm Jen and I am Matt Made.